You know, even doctors have to you know, practice and practice and practice some more. I've heard that perfect practice makes perfect. So that, it's a good <laughs> idea, right? A local facility has all they need in the latest medical technology. And Johnny DiLoretto checking out what the Center for Medical Education and Innovation has to offer. Entering now the laparoscopy lab with Dr. Ed Dominguez. Doctor, thank you. And laparoscopy, what does that mean even? Well, that means uh, using small incisions to gain access into the abdominal cavity. And some people call it minimally invasive surgery or minimal access surgery. Okay. And we've certainly seen that the patients certainly prefer that particular uh, techniques because they have oftentimes less pain and a uh, shorter hospital stay after uh, fairly large surgeries. All right, so you're a resident here practicing? Yes. Dr. Crispin working on removing a virtual gallbladder. Yeah, this is one of the more uh, sophisticated uh, simulating techniques where it's actually simulating with the computer simulation of an actual surgery. And Dr. Crispin here is uh, removing a gallbladder and very much lifelike in terms of the same instruments that you would see in the operating room. Right, and this rubber pad here simulating the abdomen of a patient, right? And the small incisions. Likewise, the same deal over here. Dr. Aurora practicing some suturing. And I am practicing something very important, letter removal and numeral removal, which is, uh, you know, it goes unnoticed a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. This really helps to develop uh, hand and eye coordination because what we use is a two-dimensional plane which is different than a normal open access surgery where you're out able to use your eyes with three dimensions. I got it. I got the B. Very good. I don't know what to do with it. Let's put it way over here. All right. Very well done. So yes, less pain, shorter hospital stay if if someone other than me was, was <laughs> doing the procedure. Okay, I'm going to continue to practice. We will have more at the Center for Medical Education and Innovation.